Not only can copyright infringement get you kicked off of YouTube, but in egregious cases, you could be forced to pay up to $150,000 per violation, plus the attorney fees of the copyright owner. And yes, it's possible to be criminally charged with copyright infringement and be jailed for up to 10 years. Hi, my name is John Farrell. I'm a Silicon Valley patent and intellectual property attorney. Welcome back to my channel. Although copyright laws can seem fairly complex, and in fact they really are, the basic rules are these on YouTube. Number one, don't copy other people's music. Number two, don't copy other people's photos and videos. And number three, don't plagiarize. Now, these three rules would seem fairly simple to follow, but actually there are some difficulties. First of all, it's hard to know whether a work is copyrighted or not. Often there's no marking or any kind of indicia on the work itself. And secondly, there's some exceptions to the copyright law that create gray areas of interpretation. In this and my other videos on copyright law, I'll explain the basics of copyright law. We'll take a look at some of the common uses of copyright, and then we'll explore this area of exception to copyright law we call fair use. So what is a copyright? Well, copyrights are rights of ownership in creative works of expression that are recorded in some tangible medium. For example, when you write a song, the words of the song are copyrighted. The music is copyrighted. When you sing the song, your performance of the song is copyrighted, so long as they're recorded in some tangible medium of expression. In the United States, your copyright attaches the moment you record the copyrighted work. It's helpful to register your copyright in the U.S. Copyright Office, but it's not required to do so. There's no requirement currently to mark your work as being copyrighted. There's some powerful reasons that you would want to register your copyright, but as I mentioned, there's no requirement to do so. However, if you're going to enforce your copyright, registration is required, and it's actually pretty easy. It currently costs $45 online at the US Copyright Office. I'll include a link in the discussion below on how to get to the registration page for doing your own copyright registration. Now there's some basic rights that you get as a copyright owner. If your work is a video, you're the only one authorized to make copies of your video, to distribute your video, or to perform or play your video in public. And another important right is that as a copyright owner, only you are allowed to make changes or derivative works of your copyrighted work. And these same rights apply to music and writings and other forms of authorship. Now, an important concept for YouTubers is this idea of public domain. Now, copyrights don't last forever. Although there are some exceptions, a copyright typically lasts for 70 years from the death of the author. And when this copyright term expires, the copyrighted work goes into the public domain for anyone to use, to copy, and to distribute. All government work is in the public domain. Anything that's produced by the government or produced at a government university, such as a military academy, is in the public domain. This is a great source for photos and charts and video clips for use in your YouTubes. Government-produced works of authorship are in the public domain. Copyrights are important monopolies that are granted to us by the government for a finite period of time. But this monopoly of ownership of our expression also collides with the constitutional right that others might have in free speech. And so we have to reconcile the copyright with the free speech. And so we have an important exception in copyright law that we call fair use. Now I'm gonna talk some more about fair use in another video. It's actually a fairly complex topic, but for purposes of making YouTube videos, there's two rules that are associated with fair use. One is that the use must be limited in nature, and the second rule or second requirement is that the use must be transformative. Now this word transformative is really strange. It's a made up word in some sense. It's a word that was made up by lawyers and judges. 
There's no clear definition of transformative, but we can think of transformative as meaning that you're using the work, the copyrighted work in some way that's different from that use of by the original author. One of my favorite YouTubers is Rick Beato, who is a music producer who loves to talk about popular rock and roll and jazz songs. And he breaks the songs down. He plays the songs and then breaks the songs down and teaches chord progression and helps with music appreciation. His videos are fantastic. For example, this is a clip from Rick's video, The Greatest Solo of All Time. Four chord, one chord, five chord, one chord. Oh! Rick's use of this video clearly was transformational. He was expressing how much he loved the music and how complex the performance was. But note that unlike Rick, Merely copying music and copying video and using it in your YouTubes without some form of transformation is not permitted. And it's likely to get you a YouTube copyright strike. Now it's important to understand that YouTube is not the ultimate arbiter of what is fair use and what isn't. It's up to the courts to decide what is fair use. And the decision, the determination of fair use is often very complex. But one thing for sure, YouTube does not want to get sued for copyright infringement. And since they own the channel, you can assume that they're going to take a fairly conservative view on determinations of the fair use exception. So in wrapping up, when making YouTube videos, be extra careful about using other people's videos, other people's music, other people's works of authorship without permission or works that are not in the public domain. If you're gonna rely on the fair use exception, be careful and understand the contours of transformational works and limited use of the works. Okay, that's really all I have to say today about copyrights in YouTube. I hope to have more copyright content in the near future. In the meantime, if you'd like a free copy of my book, Monopoly Protection, the 90-minute guide to patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. I'm gonna put a link to this book in the description. Check the description and you can download an electronic copy of my book for free. That's all I have. Thanks so much for joining me today. Leave comments, I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.